We are gathered here today, family and friends, in the presence of God to join man and woman in holy matrimony. This bond of marriage is a sacred relationship. It's one of man's greatest blessings and one of his most awesome responsibilities. Marriage is not to be entered into lightly, but soberly, deliberately, and in the reverence of God. As you wear these rings, both of them, let them be a reminder to you that someone is at home and someone is waiting for you to come back because life will take you away, but let love bring you together. I just want to give you some advice. When the days are long, don't let anyone or anything steal your happiness. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. And all that I have. I will honor you. I will honor you. And now by the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel and in accordance with the laws of the great state of Texas, and I pronounce you man and wife, Ray, you may kiss your bride. I will close with a scripture in the book of Matthew. It says, so they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together today, let no man separate. It is with great honor that I introduce to you Mr. and Miss Ray Whitley. find the man of your dreams to be your Prince Charming. Which is luckily why we're here tonight. You have found your Prince and I'm so happy with the smile that Ray has brought to you. Thank you for loving my little sister and bringing her so much joy. I'm so happy that Ray has chosen to spend the rest of his life with Caitlin. If I could have molded a woman specific for Ray, it would have been Caitlin in every way. You have been both very lucky and blessed to have found each other. So let's raise our glasses tonight, Caitlin and Ray, as they embark on their journey.